Miller Homes Group is proud to bring you MHG Life. We have miles of coastline, big cities, small towns, wide open spaces in West Texas, the piney woods of East Texas, massive ranches to intimate little condos and cities, a proud history and heritage, and a future that's brighter than most states. This is MHG Life. Hi, this is Terry Miller, and welcome to this week's edition of MHG Life, and I've got Callie back in the studio with me. Crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> Real estate's fun. Yeah, I mean, for the, mo for the most part. Yes. <laughs> 99% of the time yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's kind of different. I mean, mm -hmm. we do uh, farms and ranches and commercial and mm -hmm. residential in town, condos, beachfront. we got some people doing beachfront. We've got, mm -hmm. I, I don't... Yeah, every day is something new, and inventory is short, and interest rates are high, but we're still managing to sell. Managing, yes. Yeah, uh, we could always use more inventory. It'd be a good day. We could get some more inventory. Yeah, days on the market is kind of going up, mm -hmm. which is helping us, uh, w you know, kind of balance the market. We're not there yet. No, we're yeah, far we're from not, it, but we're getting there. Yeah, we're, we're moving in the right direction, and interest rates have to come down, but we know they will eventually. Right. And so, you know, what we want to do... In, in our market today is just be there for our customers and walk them through and do what we can. And so mm -hmm. we deal uh, we deal every day with trying to make a customer happy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Interesting you, out there, isn't it? You can have one client that prefers you a million in business. Yeah, and we talk about that. And mm -hmm. we that's when we train. Every customer has the potential to be a million dollar customer. Mm -hmm. They'll buy or refer to you in their lifetime one million dollars worth of business if you treat them right. Mm -hmm. And and what that's really great. And a lot of times we refer them to other areas of the state that we don't cover and things like that. And we pick them a nice realtor and, right. and it, it still keeps that relationship going. That's right. And we'll be right back here right after this with our very first guest. This is MHG Life, sponsored in part by the following. Getting a home loan shouldn't feel like an obstacle course. At CMG Home Loans, getting a loan is simple. Our loan officers are here for you every step of the way. With over 2,000 five-star reviews, when you're ready to buy or refi, We'll work together to find the loan you need for the home you love. CMG Home Loans. Simplified. Trusted. Committed. I'm Terry Miller with MHG Life, and if you've ever thought about having a title company represent you and do what's right for you when you sell or you purchase a home, Terry Title is my choice. TerryTitle.com will do everything you need to make sure your home purchase goes smooth on the title end. You can reach them at 903 991 3512 or terrytitle.com. We can show you how to save money on your insurance without sacrificing important protections for your home, auto, and more. All you have to do is go to thegooseheadguide.com, enter your home address, and click Let's Do This. Normally when shopping online, you get inundated with phone calls from multiple agents. Here, you get a licensed insurance professional from our local office reviewing your situation and making a qualified recommendation from within our portfolio of over 80 carrier options. With Goosehead Insurance, FOP Agency, we know time is money, so we'll save you both. The greatest feeling in the world as a real estate agent is getting a couple into their first home and putting a couple into their last home. No matter how big Miller Homes Group may become, they will always be your hometown real estate company. We make our money the old-fashioned way. We sell you a house. I want to be one of the ones that everybody runs to and says, there's a model. They take care of their customers first. Miller Homes Group, your hometown real estate company. Find an agent online at MillerHomesGroup.com. Thanks to these great sponsors for supporting MHG Life. Hi, welcome back to MHG Live. Kelly, we got a guest in the house. You want to introduce him? This is our friend, Mr. Coben Reynolds. Hey, Coben. How are you? We're good. We're going to talk about... <laughs> bad hair day. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it's yeah, raining. You know, it, it's raining, so we got fuzzy stuff going right. on. Right, yeah. I, okay. I don't know what that is falling from the sky. But I was I'm scared, saying. and I, I will tell you this. You know that if it's raining and an old naked guy running down Broadway yelling it's raining, they don't stop you. They no. just let you go. But if it gives you a cookie, you can say he went that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I want to talk to you today about inspections. You're, you're one of our favorite inspectors. Thank you. Keeping things legal there. I can't say you are my actual favorite right. inspector. But right. you're one of our favorite inspectors. Uh, 
I see a trend in inspections, and you and I have talked about this off camera, where we got a lot of inspectors out there that are really good at the social end of it, but their inspections leave a lot to be desired. Is well, that fair? Is that fair? No, that's a fair assessment. Okay. And people fall into the, some traps, and and uh, you know the inspection game's kind of like the real estate business. Sometimes, sometimes you do things a certain way for so long, you just don't know you're doing it wrong. And uh, I, I've been around since 2005. Been doing it a long time, and we have five, six other inspectors, and we have we have taken from day one to evolve to where we're at now. And we've learned a lot of lessons along the way. What not, what works, what doesn't, and what. Not. But the bottom line is, uh, too many people get a license and they go into business and they market well, they social well, but they, they have a hard time performing on the back end. And now my view on the, what needs to be done on the back end may not be the same as everybody else's, but to tell you what it is, is the value that the customer deserves. They need your attention, they need your experience, they need your dedication, and they need your trust that you're going to have that house and we're going to represent it fairly and honestly and not chase a dollar. So when, when you can get that dollar aspect out of it, out of the way of thinking, you know, you're not, you're not being pressured or having a, a back end of why you're doing things. You're just doing it for the job. And Callie's aware of this. Um, I've had you you never made about the dollar. Of course, we all need to make money. But I've seen you go out on um, houses that they were selling, they were losing, or it was an estate or whatever. I've seen you go out and just do a little cursory inspection, we thought, ends up being a full-blown inspection and you basically didn't charge much for it because that's what the people could afford. Well, you just kind of yeah. got to be fair with the community and, you know, you are. sometimes people need help, give them some help. There's no reason to get in people's pockets all the time. Well, and, and that's our fault, isn't it? We, when it comes to inspectors, very few people pick up the paper or pick up the phone book or go online. They trust us as agents to give them someone that's honest and has integrity. Right. I would hate to think that any of mine, I, I believe none of mine, will refer an inspector just because they gave them a candy bar or bought them lunch. Bought and paid for inspectors, and there's a lot of them out there. Now, there's a, there's a good group of inspectors out there as well that do the job very well mm -hmm. and do it right, and I, 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 I'm in a good group of peers to work with, and again, we just have some that they're bought and paid for. They pay to be on a list. They pay to be on a preferred vendor's list. Now, I've never understood... Well, which how, is illegal. Which is illegal. It, under track, but here's the deal. I could... I could have Callie and somebody else in the office filling out complaints all day long against yeah. people like that, or I can do business. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's there's no real accountability from Trek. Trek doesn't put the hammer down on you. I've had I had one of these companies file a complaint on me because I made a video about how to do your job right and why, and the repercussions that that customer should have had towards them, and. Trek puts a hammer down on me, but uh, it was all absolved and thrown out and it was a joke. Um, but it boils down to some people just chasing the dollar. As a business, this is what I want to do. Uh, when you lack experience in the background to do your job, it, it shows. I mean, it does tend to surface. Well, I want to point out something. You, you may be an inspector, but you have a more serious background than that. You come out of some structural stuff. I, I'm a very structural guy, so I, I did bridge inspections all over the country, did fracture critical, and, and was blessed to hook up with some really high-end bridge inspection companies and travel to some really nice places. I just got I got back from Idaho last week from going to look at some bridges I did back in the day and uh, my wife and I went on vacation and it was 75 degrees. I was a little jealous, you know, made no mind, the hate was real for a day or two there. <laughs> it was, but, that, but that, that aspect, it only enhanced my ability to look at some structure and, and, and understand how trusses work, how the, how the flow and load bearing, it works from the top down to the foundation. It helps me do my job better, it helps me get my guys prepared to do their job better. Yeah. Um, and that's something too that I'll I offer as services for people. Well, and I will say, I mean, I've worked with him, I've worked with his guys, and there's one guy in particular. I mean, he does an awesome job. He gives the information in a way that doesn't scare the client, but it gives them that okay, maybe in five years we might want to, you know, replace this beam here. But it's not a 911 that we have to do right now before closing. And they give the information in a way where it's not scary. It's like these are the issues. This is how we resolve them. This is the plan of action later on. <laughs> He teaches, and I love this, you teach your guys to present an inspection report, and I've heard you do one, and, and it starts like this, for the age of this house, okay, 
this house is in pretty good shape. Here's a few things that might need addressing. Okay, you got to double wall the water heater because 100 years ago you didn't have to do right. that. You got to do this, you got to do that. And there's a couple of things that I would recommend for, I call them safety, engineering, or environmental. That's what I recommend my sellers repair. Mm -hmm. If it's safety, environmental, or engineering, let's get those things fixed. And you guys focus on delivering that so that the buyer doesn't, you, you say, I've heard you say it. It's, it's like, we see this, it's common in houses this age. And we can get that taken care of for you. Well, and here, here, here's something that one of the things that we've learned and evolved is a lot of people can go inspect a house. When you get your license, you can go inspect a house. You may not do very well with it, but the second part of a home inspection is communication. Absolutely. Taking what you find, keeping it real, keeping it balanced, keeping it positive. It does not have to be a negative report. Everything that we're going to talk about by the book, honestly, is kind of negative. But there's a way to balance that and talk about it so that it's not scary. And even if it is, hey, this is a bad problem, but it's also a very simple solution. Right. So you don't. So people don't need to look, have their hopes dashed because of petty normal common sense things um so that communication is something that's very very key that's 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 half of the job and you've helped us as agents mm -hmm. not panic with their customers there's two kinds of agents when it comes to inspection there's one oh my god and then there's one go Okay, he said that for right. these kind of for this age of houses, this is common. Let's ask for that to be repaired. Right. Mm -hmm. and he's, now, now, listen. If a problem is a problem, it needs to be called out point blank. You're going to do Expose, it. You're going to do it. Tell it for what it is. Run, hide, fix it. Expect this, what not. Yeah. Um, you know. The, th the thing about a home inspection is what you just said, the three steps. There's only three things that can ever be wrong with anything in our job. It's uh, uh, installation, it's material, or it's operation. Right. So take a water heater, for instance. It can be defective for for so many reasons, but it can still work just right. So it can it can be installed improperly. So, oh, you got a defective water heater, but it's still working just right. It's got some rust and corrosion on it but it's still working just right, um, or it's not working at all. So putting those three those three angles on anything that you look at and explain it the right way, a lot of people can understand a car, a used car. Sure. So we, we relay home inspection similar to like you're talking about a used car, paint, scratches, tires are bald, you know, so can it be fixed, high mileage, sure. That doesn't mean throw the car away. Doesn't mean throw it away. Um, Main thing is making sure that they know what they're getting, and, and I I want to tell people that when I if I come to the inspection, come to the end of it, let us talk to you because the the report, while it is, we do try to be real with it. It is a legal document, so it it does. If you'd read just that report, it can be scary. Well, and and here's the deal. That's not my profession. I don't want to explain it to a customer. Exactly. I want you to explain exactly. It to a and and we'd be more than honored to. I get a call a week from other agents saying, hey, what's going on with this? And I'm like, well, you didn't, somebody else did that. I know, but what are they saying? Or well, what's this list mean? I'm like, it, it, um, I'm proud and honored that people call me and for answers and solutions, and we'll do our best uh, at any chance we can. Well, I know we love you and proud to have you on as a guest today. We'll be right back to MHG Life. This is MHG Life, sponsored in part by the following. The greatest feeling in the world as a real estate agent is getting a couple into their first home and putting a couple into their last home. No matter how big Miller Homes Group may become, they will always be your hometown real estate company. We make our money the old-fashioned way. We sell you a house. I want to be one of the ones that everybody runs to and says, there's a model. They take care of their customers first. Miller Homes Group, your hometown real estate company. Find an agent online at millerhomesgroup.com. We can show you how to save money on your insurance without sacrificing important protections for your home, auto, and more. All you have to do is go to thegooseheadguy.com, enter your home address, and click Let's Do This. Normally when shopping online, you get inundated with phone calls from multiple agents. Here, you get a licensed insurance professional from our local office reviewing your situation and making a qualified recommendation from within our portfolio of over 80 carrier options. With Goosehead Insurance, FOP Agency, we know time is money, so we'll save you both. Getting a home loan shouldn't feel like an obstacle course. 
CMG Home Loans, getting a loan is simple. Our loan officers are here for you every step of the way. With over 2,000 five-star reviews, when you're ready to buy or refi, we'll work together to find the loan you need for the home you love. CMG Home Loans. Simplified. Trusted. Committed. I'm Terry Miller with MHG Life, and if you've ever thought about having a title company represent you and do what's right for you when you sell or you purchase a home, Terry Title is my choice. TerryTitle.com will do everything you need to make sure your home purchase goes smooth on the title end. You can reach them at 903-991-3512 or TerryTitle.com. Welcome back to MHG Life, and now we're going to do a segment called Talking with Terry. Um, this is where I kind of tell you exactly what's going on in the world out there, give you some advice how to be a better seller or buyer, just a better knowledge of real estate in general. And today, I'm going to cover the topic of inflation, high interest rates, high home prices. Uh, don't want any politics here. Doesn't matter to me how your political beliefs are, but what I just want to tell you what I'm seeing in the market, you can agree or disagree, but we want to make that one thing's clear. As, house, as housing prices rose, we had low interest rates and it was really great. We had people that could afford to get into houses and do those things. And what happens now is we have housing prices that have increased dramatically over the last two or three years and now they're stabilizing or maybe dropping one to five percent. They're not dropping low enough for a high interest rate that some of these people are now getting. So back when you're getting two to three, maybe even four percent interest, you had folks that normally could afford a $250,000 house could afford almost 400. And so what you've got now is you still got house prices up there and you've got people that can't afford to buy them because the interest rates so high they can't qualify. And that creates an issue out there. Everybody says affordable housing. Builders were beginning to build affordable housing because there's money in there. And you had a lumber shortage that began to dissipate. And as the lumber shortage began, they began to get build affordable housing. And then what happens is, is the interest rate goes up and now makes that affordable housing unaffordable. My advice to you is buy the house you can buy tell your lender to refinance that thing every chance it drops to lower your payment a hundred a month and prepare for a future market down the road where you can sell and flip that house. If you're in Texas, you're going to have a great market for getting that house, working on it for a few years and then getting that house out of your ownership and buying and upgrading because eventually interest rates will come down. Interest rates are not a product of inflation. Inflation is a political motivator. We're going to leave that alone. But what happens is, is interest rates go up. They believe that helps battle inflation. It doesn't battle inflation. All right. It just, it brings everything to a halt. The, yes, the housing market was smoking hot. And we loved it that way. But people were affording to buy houses. Everybody was adjusting. You were having affordable houses come back in and people were going to be able to buy those. And now we're in a position to where the interest rates are so high, seven, eight percent, it makes it tough. Now, I've lived in the generation when we were 16, 17, 18. So don't worry about it. Buy the most house you can buy. This has been Talking with Terry and we'll be back with more MHG Life. Getting a home loan shouldn't feel like an obstacle course. At CMG Home Loans, getting a loan is simple. Our loan officers are here for you every step of the way. With over 2,000 five-star reviews, when you're ready to buy or refi, we'll work together to find the loan you need for the home you love. CMG Home Loans. Simplified. Trusted. Committed. I'm Terry Miller with MHG Life, and if you've ever thought about having a title company represent you and do what's right for you when you sell or you purchase a home, Terry Title is my choice. TerryTitle.com will do everything you need to make sure your home purchase goes smooth on the title end. You can reach them at 903-991-3512 or TerryTitle.com.
we can show you how to save money on your insurance without sacrificing important protections for your home, auto, and more. All you have to do is go to thegooseheadguide.com, enter your home address, and click Let's Do This. Normally when shopping online, you get inundated with phone calls from multiple agents. Here, you get a licensed insurance professional from our local office reviewing your situation and making a qualified recommendation from within our portfolio of over 80 carrier options. With Goosehead Insurance, FOP Agency, we know time is money, so we'll save you both. The greatest feeling in the world as a real estate agent is getting a couple into their first home and putting a couple into their last home. No matter how big Miller Homes Group may become, they will always be your hometown real estate company. We make our money the old-fashioned way. We sell you a house. I want to be one of the ones that everybody runs to and says, there's a model. They take care of their customers first. Miller Homes Group, your hometown real estate company. Find an agent online at MillerHomesGroup.com. Thanks to these great sponsors for supporting MHG Life. Welcome back to MHG Life, and today we have Miss Katie Ellis. Hi. I have a quick question for you. Okay. What is your, the deal that stands out the most in your career? Oh, goodness. Um, probably the one where I received a call from a couple moving here from Washington State. Um, they had driven by a listing that I had, gave me a call and wanted to look at it, and I asked if I was available and actually I was in the living room um, with my four-year-old son who or three-year-old son that wasn't even in school yet I'm stay-at-home mom and also a real estate agent and um, they told me their budget and I also knew the price of home they were looking at and I thought I gotta figure out a way to show them this house so I actually called my dad Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, hey, this is the situation. Um, can you watch Cole? And he was what, like... What, at his house? Yeah. Um, no, that w the house was my mother-in-law's house. Your mother-in-law's house. Mother -in -law's mother -in -law's house. house. It was a relative's yes. house. Yeah. She was at work. And, um, and anyway, and a lot of times I just, you know, bring them with me. But they said they had several homes to look at in the area within like a 30-mile radius. And I thought, this is going to take all day. So, drop my son off um, with my dad and I go take him to look at my mother-in-law's house and then we look at other homes that same day um, and her house is in Gladewater so I drove to Bullard, Ben Wheeler, Canton, Lindale um, and showed him about oh gosh maybe seven homes that day and there was one they really liked but then they also had their eye on some um, in Longview in the Longview area so then the next day, we drove to um, New Diana, Marshall, Carthage, Hallsville, Longview, and looked about six or seven homes there. And um, they thought on it and ended up going with a home in Ben Wheeler. Uh, cash buyers closed in two weeks. I bought my dad a bottle of Weller and told him thank you. <laughs> well, but here's, there's a backstory to that, isn't there? When they called you, they had had an oh, agent. Oh, yes. They had an agent that they had talked to that ghosted them, wouldn't answer the phone, yes. and they were going to be in town for just a few days. Absolutely, yes. They called, and um, they said, we want to look at this property. Um, and I said, okay, well, are you already represented by a real estate agent? Because for them to have driven all the way to Washington, they had to have been in touch with another agent. And they said, yes, however, he is unavailable to show us homes until 11 o'clock today, um, but he's also not answering his phone. And I thought, well, if you don't hear from him, I will gladly show you this house. You know, but I want you to give him a chance. You've already had a verbal agreement you with him. You did the right thing. Right. You did the right thing. And um, anyway, about two hours later, they call us and they're like, all right, he's still not answering our phone calls. Can we see the house? And so um, I took a right buyer representation when I went. Oh, yeah. Um, but also had told him I've set aside all day to show you homes and then as well as the next day. And they needed to find a home. They'd already, they needed to find a home within two days of being in town. Because they were driving back um, to Washington State. They were driving State. back to Washington State. And they had already looked at homes over, like within the past three months in Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, and Texas was their last choice to move. And I found them one in two days. You answered your phone, which a lot of agents don't. Now they have other family trying to move here, and guess who their agent is? Me. Mm -hmm. I've showed their sons a few homes, oh, no, and we can't... Yeah. 
We haven't found the perfect one for him yet, but we're still looking. That's what we talk about all the time. Every client's a million dollar, two million dollar client. If you treat them right, they'll buy or refer to you. In their Absolutely. Life. Absolutely. Agent was too busy to answer the phone on nine hundred thousand dollars. It doesn't take an Einstein to figure out that's twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars in commission mm -hmm. that he missed out on because he didn't want to answer his phone. And I was in my car already <laughs> planning to take hold somewhere. <laughs> we go through that a lot, though. Uh, yeah. You answer your phone. You answer your phone. But for one of the things I tell new agents all the time, if you'll answer your phone, you'll be successful. Mm -hmm. So those things are very important. Katie, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back to MHG Life. Linden, Texas, just a few miles west of the Texas-Louisiana border, has become a tourist destination for music fans from across the country. With all those tourists soaking up the rich history of Linden, they are sure to work up an appetite, and there's no better place to satisfy your country fried cravings than the County Seat Cafe on Main Street. Rita Ron, the County Seat Cafe. Rita grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and moved to Linden shortly after she graduated. Having worked as a server for most of her life, and being passionate about cooking, Rita decided to take a chance and open a restaurant. I've waited on tables just about my whole life. Even I worked for the county 17 years and I still work part time um, waiting on tables whenever I was working for the county. So it's just always been a passion. I love cooking. I've always cooked for people and I do most all the cooking here as well. Rita prides herself in everything that comes out of her kitchen. You won't find any frozen or canned food, just real authentic country style cooking. It's hard to find country cooking, true country cooking, and that's what I specialize in. And everything's cooked fresh, nothing um, frozen, all of our, nothing's canned or anything like that. All of our vegetables are fresh, cooked. Uh, our burgers are cooked in an iron skillet, and you rarely find a restaurant to cook burgers in an iron skillet. Our chicken fried steak is our specialty also, and we have a special platter for it, and it's really, really big, and it's been our number one seller. Linden is a small town that has produced some incredible musical talent over the years, including one of the greatest singer-songwriters in American music history, Don Henley, who owns several buildings in Linden, including the one where the County Seat Cafe is located. Well, a lot of people know that Don Henley owns a lot of the buildings. He also owns this building. I own the business, but he owns the building, so he is actually my landlord. And so that brings a lot of people to Landon as well. And um, he's actually helped me out a lot getting this place opened up. So that's been a real good thing for me. So come on down to Linden and soak up some of the rich history, as well as some live music. And while you're there, go see Rita over at the County Seat Cafe for some down-home cooking that definitely won't disappoint. Your continued support of these locally owned businesses and restaurants will help continue to keep Main Street rocking and rolling. That completes this week's edition of MHG Live, and we look forward to you joining us again real soon.